Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Today we are going to tackle Hell's Kitchen, which is a pretty big level. It's also a sort of hub with lots of sub areas. I'll include all of those in this section, but let's get started, because there's a lot to do. We start off here on the subway, or on the subway platform, which took us, which is where we arrived from Battery Park. Let's go to the stairs and talk I'll to Paul. I'll be okay. Thanks. Before we do anything else, he'll meet us up here. What's the situation here? You're taking over. I've got to get my team ready to raid the warehouse. What about the EMP field? Still in place. Your primary objective will be to locate and disable its power source. Probably an industrial sized generator in a large building. I'll question some of the locals. I ordered the civilians to take cover a block south of here in the Free Clinic and at the Underworld Tavern, down on the corner. Maybe I'll start with the tavern. Why'd you have to clear the street? There's still a heavy NSF presence in the streets and we're taking some fire. We could use your help if you get the chance. Maybe I'll do that. If you need any extra equipment, here's the key to my place at the Tun Hotel. Check the secret closet. Remember? The keypad's behind the painting. Just like the movies. Second floor, right? Yeah, and take a charger for the riot prod. We don't need another Anna Navarra shooting spree. Whatever you say. And JC, we'll be waiting for you to take down that EMP field. I think everybody thinks I massacred the terrorists in Battery Park, even though I definitely didn't. Use reasonable force like you did on Liberty Island. Let's keep Paul talking to us if we can. I've got to assemble my team. You better get moving. I'm counting on you to find that generator. I've got to assemble my team. Alright, that's all he has to say. So, let's check out our new goals. Well, we got a note. Paul's apartment is on the second floor of the Ton Hotel, the apartment with a white door. The keypad for the secret closet is behind the painting. Our new primary goal is to find the NSF secret generator. Paul's team will raid the warehouse when the generator is destroyed and the EMP field goes down. Secondary goal, talk to the locals in the bar or the clinic for clues to the location of the generator. Awesome. Let's talk to everybody in the subway first. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? Sometimes I hear things in my head. It's not normal. Majestic. Majestic. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? Setting lit up, man. Yeah. They're setting fires on Wall Street. I heard it on the radio. This dies down, I'm gonna take myself a nice spread on Park Avenue. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. You saved my life! They were gonna blow the whole place up! Us! Them! Everything! I'm not going- to... They're maniacs! Complete maniacs! Funny, I thought the NSF was fighting for a good cause. You're right that the government shouldn't intimidate people, but neither should they. I guess they got what they deserve. Thanks again. I think I'll be okay. Thanks again. I think I'll be- I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. I'll be okay, thanks. I'm not going anywhere until the shooting stops. Alright, that just leaves the, uh, hooker, I think. Yeah? We're looking for an illegal power generator in this area. Can you help me out? I might have heard something. How much money you got? 50 credit? Nope. Forget it. All right. We can get the info for free. So, instead, let's hack this ATM. Two sixty two credits in this bad boy. Public access terminal. Water advisory. Residents of Manhattan and Brooklyn should be aware that last week's chlorine spill in the Hudson River now appears to have washed ashore and is interfering with the operation of at least one water processing plant. While the impact upon the city's utilities is currently unclear, water rationing rules may need to be instituted within the next week. Under no circumstances should any resident drink, bathe, or swim in contaminated water. 
If you or someone you know comes in contact with contaminated water, then go to the nearest available hospital or clinic. Brooklyn Naval Yards complete subpen. In a ceremony held earlier today, the venerable Brooklyn Naval Yards christened a new state-of-the-art subpen. New York Senator Clark Ashton was in attendance, as was industrialist Bob Page, whose subsidiaries handled many of the contracts for the construction of the new building. This is certainly a great day for New York, said Page in a brief speech to commemorate the occasion. New York is, in many ways, the symbolic center of America, an example to not only the rest of the country, but the world. As long as New York remains mindful of its past, but dedicated towards realizing its future, this will never change. This building is only a small but significant step in the continual renewal of the city, and Page Industries is glad to be a part of that. Battery Park closed until further notice. Due to unidentified terrorist action, Battery Park will be closed to all unauthorized personnel until further notice. Local police working in conjunction with UNATCO agents are currently in the process of dealing with the threat, and according to UNATCO head Joseph Manderley, the situation is strictly minor, but any time the potential exists for civilian casualties, we must proceed with caution. Be safe, be suspicious. Terrorism has become an unfortunate fact of life, not only in New York, but the country at large. A direct assault on our communities and our way of life that leaves citizens struggling to find answers to difficult questions. Not the least of which is, what can I do to prevent such atrocities? How can I help? Quite simply, terrorism is successful because terrorists are able to pass unnoticed and unremarked upon, but they fail to count on the best intelligence network ever devised, the American people. How can you tell who might be a terrorist? who might be a terrorist? Look for the following characteristics. A stranger or foreigner. Argumentative, especially about politics or philosophy. Probing questions about your work, particularly high tech. Spends a greater than average amount of time on the net. Interests in chemistry, electronics, or computers. Large numbers of mail order deliveries. Taking photographs of major landmarks. And those are just a few. If you're suspicious, then turn them into your local law enforcement for a thorough background check. Better safe than sorry. You and your neighbors will sleep more securely knowing that you're watching each other's back. Alright, let's head out to the streets. I'm gonna try to tackle the street fight first. Again, it's the most difficult thing for... We're getting reports of a hostage situation in the Ton Hotel, which is at the southeast corner of the block. When you stayed with Paul, did you meet Mr. Renton and his daughter Sandra? We think at least one of them is still inside. So that gives us a new secondary goal. Investigate the hostage situation in the Ton Hotel at the southeast corner of the block. Rescue the Rentons if they are still inside. Now I'm going to take care of the firefight in the streets first. It's the hardest thing to do out here, and I think I'm gonna try to handle it with a gas grenade, like I've done with others. Well, somebody died. I think a couple of well-placed grenades are definitely gonna wind up being the best way to deal with this, though. going to be very difficult to do. <clears throat> Denton, hey, it's Denton. You want these? What? Give him the grenades. Look, I know he's your brother, but... Your brother gave us these things. Look at this. Irritation to all exposed mucous membranes. What's that going to do? Just tell Paul to give us bullets next time. Here's one. Prolonged exposure can damage the bronchial pathways. Prolonged exposure? It's like giving them cigarettes or something. Look, do you want these things? Sure. Hand him over. There you go, with my compliments. Good luck. Give me a few more gas grenades. 
which are always handy. Three more to be exact. Oops. Let's see what's in these crates. 30 out six, 10 millimeter, all useless. Let's talk to these guys before we move on. Sorry, he's a little worked up. Should talk to your brother about this. Paul used to be fine. I don't know what happened. Sorry, he's a little work. Effective crowd control? What's that supposed to mean? Gonna be some really sniffly terrorists. You don't see the NSF using tear gas. Effective crowd control? What's that supposed to mean? Alright, well, with more grenades, maybe this will work out better. That's the hope, anyway. Well, that's gonna kill me. This is gonna—it's a living. This is gonna be a challenge for sure. Well, I already heard someone die, so no dice. I may not be able to save everyone this time. I'm sure that was amusing to watch, even. Well, I already heard somebody die. be better off trying to knock all of them unconscious and then going at the terrorists one at a time. Shows me one thing at least. I'll be better off if I knock both these guys out. What the hell? Uh, that could be tough. That's way too fast. Assault rifle, knife, and another gas grenade. The assault rifle, weapon stats. Uh, ammo loaded, 7.62 by 51 millimeter ammo. Ammo type, 7.62 by 51 millimeter ammo and 20 millimeter HE ammo. Base damage three, clip size 30 rounds. Rate of fire, auto, 10.0 rounds per second. Reload time, 3.0 seconds. Recoil, 0 0.50. Base accuracy, 65%. Accurate range, 300 feet. Maximum range, 600 feet. Mass, 30 pounds. Laser sight, no. Scope, NA. Silencer, no. Skill, weapons, rifle. The 7.62 by 51 millimeter assault rifle is designed for close quarters combat, utilizing a shortened barrel and bullpup design for increased maneuverability. An additional underhand 20 millimeter HG launcher increases the rifle's effectiveness against a variety of targets. Useless to us, of course. Actually, I'm not even sure if 
Those two were the ones who joined the fight. I think that might be the trick. Let me see if that works out. I'm gonna wait for the gas to fade and see if I can take out all four guys like that. I'd rather not involve anyone I don't need to if I can help it. I should have done a real save before I tried that. Well, at least one guy is into it. to knock out all the Unatco guys, but not fast enough. Okay, well I can hit all four of them with it without starting the fight. That's the key point. I can, I can think of a couple of other spots that are going to be very difficult, but... This should be it for this section, at least. Alright, let's, uh, let's do a real save and see if that worked. Do my gameplay real save. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, let's reload the quick save and try again. And I can see one trooper without starting the firefight. That's good. Alright, well there's one unconscious, three to go, three troopers anyway. Ah! 
and a boatload of NSF. I wonder if approaching from the other side might help me. Probably not, but it's worth a try. Oh, we got more troopers. All right, yeah, there there are two sides to the firefight, it would seem. Let's just see if we can't do something with that. I wonder if the problem is just that it hasn't spawned them in yet. Until I get around the corner. That would explain the game behaving the way it is. to join the fight, so I've got to take them all down. Well, that's a pain, but it's got to be done, it's got to be done. Let's get them all as low as we can. Ah, that was much cleaner than the first time, wasn't it? And I got an extra gas grenade for my trouble. Alright. Well, that solves the problem of that guy. What's your business here, Agent? Just going up to my brother's room. Uh, you better hold off. The NSF retreated in there about half an hour ago, and they've taken hostages. We're waiting on a specialist. I'm your specialist. Just tell me where the hostages are being held. No one's standing in your way, but you'll have to go in alone. Our orders are to hold the perimeter. We think the terrorists are on the second floor. Carry on, Corporal. Agent? Sorry about that hiccup, folks. Another phone call. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Let's talk this guy down. Remember, no deals with terrorists. Then we'll drop him. Good luck, Agent. Remember, no deals with terrorists. Right, right, right. Perfect. He's got another assault rifle and another knife. Wahoo. And... I'm gonna save with that accomplished and take another little pause. Alright, back to work. Sorry for the delay. Let's try this again now. Fewer interruptions, hopefully. I know I saved all the UNATCO troopers. Yeah. Uh -oh. 
To use the uh, World of Warcraft parlance, we aggroed all the terrorists. Terrorists, too many terrorists. I keep doing this wrong. I need to let's uh here, let's rename my real save. We'll just call it real save. Even though in this case it's actually functioning as a quick save, but I need to keep the quick save before I start the fight. Just in case I screwed up. <laughs> Shot their own friend to death. Did you hear that? That was not nice, was it? Uh, we got. We got pounded just then. But. With six in hand, I think I can afford another gas grenade if I want it, which is good. Oops. Well, I loaded the quick save instead of the real save. But I should say with five in hand, I think I can afford another gas grenade. Are so good. I think. Assault rifle and a knife. Ammo. Ammo. Osgood and Sons front door key. 10 millimeter ammo. 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 Okay, very good, very good. Now I can discard my junk and do a new quick save, because no one's dead. Now I need to get the troops on this side in similar fashion. Oh. 
maybe they'll be easier. found the three troopers standing idle, so it looks like there are five terrorists left, so maybe I can sneak up on everybody. Alright, looks like there's no hope of that. If I come from this way, I can get... Why is that one friendly? And that one. That's weird. Let's just... Drop a couple. My last strength darts. But now everyone out there is friendly. How do you like that? I know those two are just unconscious. Okay. They're just friendly till I get too close. And the fight with Unatko gets going. Interesting. I'm not out of tricks yet. What I have to prevent is letting the troopers get involved. There are three more terrorists and three troopers. I want to keep them all alive. this is going to work, but it might. Conscious. Yes. Now I just need to roll up on those last two. Now let's loot all these bodies. Pistol ammo and a knife. Pistol ammo. Tranquilizer darts. Hello, gorgeous. Assault rifle. And... Two more terrorists. Let's just be careful. Because I think with them facing the other way... More Trank Darts! Praise Jesus. Or whatever deity you want to worship. Now let's get this guy. Pistol ammo. Let's get this guy and we'll be done. Excellent. Pistol ammo, sawed off shotgun. Alright, we've looted all the bodies, so let's drop everything I don't want to keep with me. Let's read this data cube at Osgood and Sons. 
Commander Freys, UNATCO has regrouped more quickly than expected and is beginning a coordinated assault on our position along with local police. They will certainly overrun our defenses eventually, but they must be delayed until the next phase of the mission can be completed. Your men will be responsible for guarding the tunnels leading to the generation station. Dig in and arm all available automatic defenses. I don't need to tell you what's at stake. Good luck. JL. Alright, let's loot all the crates now. We get still more pistol ammo. This unconscious terrorist had a sawed off shotgun and a knife. I think we got cops. Oh. We got a terrorist inside Osgood and Sons, I think. I'll go deal with him in a few minutes. Osgood and Sons is actually the way out, but I won't go through the load zone. I'll just uh, clear the building and then uh, come back and handle the rest of the Hell's Kitchen hub. Okay. On the table out here is more assault rifle ammo. We got three combat supply crates, wherein we can find 30 6 ammo. We finally maxed out our pistol ammo. And we got... Assault rifle ammo. Is there anything worth doing back here right now? We got another data cube. From New York NY First Federal National Bank to John Palmer. We regret the breach of security in your New York First Federal account. We here at NYFF obviously take such matters seriously and will hold you in no way responsible for the damages incurred. All of your assets prior to the unauthorized transactions have been transferred to account number 947761 with the PIN number 2867. We suggest you change this PIN number as soon as you have had a chance to verify your new account. Again, our most sincere apologies. Rest assured that NYFF will ensure that such intrusions do not happen again. Sincerely, Bob Latham, Vice President, Computer Security, New York First Federal National Bank. Awesome. So we've got a PIN number to use the next time we spot an ATM before we hack it. And there's a newspaper back here. Chinese Lunar Mine Operational, APR Beijing, China. Chinese authorities today announced that their state-of-the-art Zhou Enlai lunar mining complex is operational and functioning at 100% capacity. We are pleased to be making significant progress not just in pushing back the boundaries of exploration but for all humanity, but in developing the lunar territories in a way that benefits the Chinese people and the global market, said Nihil Lam, Chinese premier. While the United States and Nigeria still dispute China's claims to the lucrative Palus Somnii and Mare Crisium regions, Chinese construction has proceeded apace while diplomatic negotiations continue. We feel we have some valid claim to those territories, certainly, said Robert Holden, Secretary of the Interior for the U.S., but we would prefer to find an equitable arrangement that would allow our countries to work together in developing man's first real home outside of our own planet. The first ore delivery from the facility will be launched by Mass Driver tomorrow and should arrive in Earth orbit by next week. Okay. Before I go to the other side, let's loot the Osgood and Sons building right quick and dispose of that last terrorist. Let's be quiet since I know he's in there. I found a key to the front door on one of the bodies, which is always helpful. There he is. Huh? That's him. He's a cop. I'm hit! That's what I was worried about. So let's just come in from the other side. Get him that way. Oh. Okay, maybe we let him come down here and let him turn around. There we go. That's what you want to see. So he gave me Osgood and Son's backdoor key, more tranquilizer darts, and yet another knife. So also in this room, we find up here a general supply crate. Bring down that way and break open for a bioelectric cell. I 
think we can find the code to this door. There's a exploration bonus, 50 skill points. It's one of the things I wanted. That combat, and through there is the load zone. So let's activate microfibril muscle and get these crates out of the way and head downstairs. Just getting another skill point bonus right quick. On the piping here is another bioelectric cell. Down here we find a lock pick. And I just want to get the skill point bonus because I usually don't come this way. So let's just get on this pipe and crawl past the security lasers. We're gonna get 50 skill points somewhere down here, but... There it is. Another exploration bonus. And... Is there anything down here that I want to pick up? That's the other thing I need to make sure of. It looks like no. Oh, there's some buckshot. back outside. Actually, mm, yeah, can't open that with a key. And let's just go ahead and use the two multi-tools here, because I don't think we get a code for this door. got something very important behind it. That little thing you see in the corner is an augmentation upgrade canister. Now, I don't want to upgrade anything I have right now. I don't want to burn it on a microfibril muscle, because tech one is high enough for that. With that accomplished, the next thing, next place I want to go is the Ton Hotel. So the first thing I want to do is, there's a skill bonus you can only get if you approach from this direction. So let's do that first. And you do have to place a crate in the right spot to get him onto the ladder. There's our 40 skill points. An exploration bonus. So... Now, let's go handle the hostage situation. By heading in through the front door. It's all the way back around here. This will load a new area going into the Taun. So first things first, we have here a public access terminal, which says the same things the one in the subway did. Now here we've got an ATM, so let me look at my notes right quick to 
7761 and 2867. Log in, we can withdraw 62 credits from that guy's account. Now, if we hack in, we should be able to find some more. Eighty-five more credits, so with that, that ATM is tapped out. So if we move in here, we see uh, Gilbert Redding, I think that's his name. Wait, quiet. Here comes the terror. I got this. So he was easy enough to take down. All he had was a knife. Let's talk to Mr. Renton now. You all right, Mr. Renton? Fine, be careful though, they've got more hostages up on the second floor. I'll check it out. How's your daughter? She's somewhere safe? I don't know, she's been gone all week. I try not to think about it. Tonight's a bad night to be on the streets. I'll take a look around. Hey, if you see Sandra, tell her I don't care. I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home, no questions, no speeches. Sure. So that completes one of my secondary goals. There are two of those guys. I knew they were NSF from the body armor. They're scared. That's why they took hostages. Maybe we should just keep out of the way until this blows over. I'm not getting involved. They're scared. That's why they took hostages. Let's read this book. Hotel Register, Gully Foyle, New York, Gabriel Syme, London, England, Paul Denton, New York, Oberst Enzian, Sudwest Africa, Smilla Jasperson. Maybe we should just keep out of the way until this blows over. Smilla Jasperson, Copenhagen, Denmark, and Hippolyta Hall, Los Angeles. Let's read this data cube. Commander Freys, we're pinned down in Hell's Kitchen, and I'm not sure what to do. They're slaughtering us in the streets wherever they find us. This one mechog, he's like a giant walking tank. I saw someone pour a clip into him, and it didn't even phase him. I've lost contact with Alpha and Delta teams. Yusuri and Tompkins are dead. I don't know what to do. We've holed up in a hotel. It's so different than training. Please tell me what we should do. If we leave, they'll kill us all. If we stay, we're dead. I've had to take hostages. I know we were supposed to minimize civilian casualties, but I didn't have a choice. What can we... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, heal 10 points with my handy water cooler. water. Back here, we've got a credit chit, a newspaper. Bellevue reports increase in admittance. New World Press, New York. Bellevue Hospital has reported a 50% increase in the number of patients admitted over the last three months compared to this same period last year. A disturbing trend, said Dr. James Cabell, and one that's stressing our personnel to the limits. Many of those admitted are homeless that the police can't or won't deal with, some of them afflicted with the Grey Death. We simply don't have the facilities to deal with those cases, and most of the hospitals refuse to accept them. Many have linked the outbreak of mental illness to the recent rise in recreational drug use, in particular the new designer drug, Zyme. Speaking on condition of anonymity, one public official said that Zyme has simply become a threat to the public welfare. There have already been discussions with Washington on a zero-tolerance solution. Others have suggested chemical contamination could be the culprit, citing the recent chlorine spill that has rendered the East River almost lifeless. This book, The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. First of all, what is it really all about? What is it you object to? You want to abolish government? To abolish God, said Gregory, opening the eyes of a fanatic. We do not only want to upset a few despotisms and police regulations. That sort of anarchism does exist, but it is a mere branch of the nonconformists. We dig deeper and we blow you higher. We wish to deny all those arbitrary distinctions of vice and virtue, honor and treachery, upon which mere rebels base themselves. The silly sentimentalists of the French Revolution talked of the rights of man. We hate rights as we hate wrongs. We have abolished right and wrong. And right and left, said Syme with a simple eagerness. I hope you will abolish them too. They are much more troublesome to me. And back here, there is a key to the Ton Hotel North Room. 
Now the there are two terrorists upstairs with two more hostages, and they will execute them if we're not careful, which is obviously something we need to avoid. So rather than take the stairs, we need to take the out of order elevator to get up there. First things first, drop down to the ground level and break open these crates. You can find a bioelectric cell and a multi-tool. And up on the second level is where we need to be. You can see one of the terrorists already. So, if I just sneak up and prod him, that should take care of him. Help! Oh, but I was too... No, I need to do something else, because he executed... I think we've got an intruder. Fascist. He executed that hostage. Okay, so being undetected is insufficient. I guess I'll have to try to trank one. And maybe his buddy too. God damn. And both hostages are still alive. That's all I wanted. Good. Help! So he's got a knife. He didn't have anything. And uh for saving the hostages, we got a 65 skill point uh, accomplishment bonus, up to 1915. That's good. Thanks. I think I'm gonna raise low tech again before I go for uh, electronics or lock picking. So let's talk to the hostages. Trying to catch my breath. You saved my life. You saved my life. Thanks for taking care of those guys. You from the police? You Natco. Yeah? Well, you might be interested. I heard them talking. They said something about it, how they had just put in a generator in a warehouse a few streets south of here. Did you catch the name of the street? No, but they were talking about their security setup. Anything interesting? It sounded like there was underground access. They're using the word righteous as some kind of password. That's very helpful. Thanks. Righteous is a password used by the NSF. Thought I was a goner. You just about saved my life. I'm gonna wait here till things settle down. Smart man. Thought I was a goner. Okay. So, this is Paul's room. Let's read his newspaper. Uh, it's the same as the one downstairs. You saved my life. Up here is another data cube behind this plant. From New York First Federal Bank, Federal National Bank, to John Palmer. Thanks for choosing NYFF. We're excited about your business and the trust you've shown by placing your valuable assets in our care. NYFF has one of the most secure banking infrastructures in the United States, an impregnable vault that protects you 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. A complete list of our security protocols and procedures is always available for your perusal at nyff nynet and we welcome any questions or comments you may have. At NYFF, we're not just protecting you for today, but also against tomorrow. Your new account number is 543654, and the PIN number is 5544. For your protection, we recommend that you do not share this information with anyone and wipe this data cube after committing it to memory. And welcome to NYFF. So we'll uh, make a withdrawal the next time we find a uh, ATM. Let's loot the north room first. It is currently unoccupied, and there's very little to find inside. You can find a couple packets of soy food, which I'll just eat to heal myself a little bit. There's a pack, pack of cigarettes and a newspaper. Have you been saved? I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Join the net church of God and know that your immortal soul will truly be saved. Backed up on a data cube and stored in our secure, hardened crypt until the day of rapture. Don't trust your soul to other religions that promise similar services based on vague, ambiguous, and unverifiable promises of forgiveness and acceptance. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. The exact location of our crypts is a closely guarded secret, 
The rest easy knowing that they're protected by miles of rock somewhere beneath the Appalachian Mountains. Even in the event of a catastrophe, biblical or otherwise, an auxiliary nuclear generator will ensure that your soul's checksum is verified daily for millennia to come. While surface sensors constantly monitor for the last days when the crypts will be opened and all souls will be free to ascend to heaven. Why trust your soul to anything else? Net Church of God at God 999.7.7.7. I find that funny. Now I don't think there's anything in here that I want. Yeah, 25% is still too strong to bash open. Let's, uh... I quick saved already, so let's burn a pick to see what's inside. Med kit and a bio cell. No, not worth it. I'd rather have the lock pick. But they're there if you want them. In here, we find a couple of dead junkies with uh, Zyme vials next to them. Let's take both of those. No way to save these two, unfortunately. Then in this room... Okay, that's it. Okay, let's go to Paul's apartment next. Thought I was a goner. Thanks. Actually, before I do that, let me make sure there's nothing on the top level in here. I think there is, actually. Yep, multi-tool over in the corner. Okay. Let's be careful and hit the ladder again on the way down. But that, let's check out Paul's room. So, Paul's got a data cube. Quick note, if you need any help with work, check the painting on the wall and count back from four. Gotta run, P. Book, Vishnu's Fall, A Brief History of the Indian Crisis. After the bombing, Indian officials issued a series of stern warnings to Pakistan that were rebuffed with denials of responsibility and dire threats that any attempt to use the bombings as a pretext for military action would be met with force in kind. From the viewpoint of the present-day historiographer, this was a crucial event, a game of brinksmanship that had been played between Pakistan and India many, many times before, and so, while tragic, it is also easily understood how clear signs of the impending catastrophe might have been ignored. Like two kids shoving each other on the playground, said historian Alistair Brooks. You never expect them to come to blows. That was before Pakistan began the trials of the Calcutta 16, and both nations descended into a maelstrom of political upheaval that would eventually culminate in the exchange of nuclear warheads. So Paul's got a lot of food, which I'll use to heal myself some more, since I took a fair bit of damage in the street fight. How am I doing? Okay. Not too bad, but still worthwhile. Let's see what else we can find. This little closet space is empty. Back in his room, his cabinet just has clothes in it, but there's a uh, credit shit under his desk with a whopping 350 credits on it. And in the shower, there's another med kit and another book. CIA Factbook 2050, Hong Kong. Economic Overview. In the decades since Hong Kong has been returned to Chinese control, it has seen its economy thrive under the newly resurgent authority of the Chinese central government. Led by a thriving technological market and human augmentation technology, the real GDP has peaked every year since 2041, with all forecasting models predicting that this trend will continue well into the next decade, if not beyond. However, the statistics do not present an entirely accurate depiction of the state of the Hong Kong economy as they fail to depict the flourishing gray and black market that operates with at least the tacit approval of the Beijing regime. While political oppression continues to present a major and ongoing problem to those living under Chinese rule, entrepreneurism is alive and well in the form of organized crime. As has always been the case, anything and everything can be had for a price in Hong Kong. Many of these criminal organizations can trace their lineage directly to the triads that have existed for thousands of years throughout China and Southeast Asia. Now, if we open up the painting, there's a keypad. We can just count back from four. Four, three, two, one. And that opens up Paul's little secret room. Inside here, we find three multi-tools. A bioelectric cell. 
two lock picks, pistol ammo, a med kit, the uh, 40 skill points for exploring, uh, the ballistic armor, I don't really need, I'm not going to pick it up. It's like a hazmat suit or a thermoptic camo, but it just protects you from bullets. And a data cube. Hey Travis, didn't have a chance to get you your own net account, so feel free to use mine in the meantime. Login is P. Denton and password is Chameleon. Make yourself at home and I'll see you soon. P. So let's do it. P. Denton, password Chameleon. From Sweet Charity, subject, miss you. I left a message on your machine, but wanted to follow up. With both of us traveling, it's hard to get together, isn't it? I miss you so much. I'll make it up to you when I get back. Oh wait, your brother's staying with you, isn't he? Well, just wait until you're alone. We'll work things out. Promise. Kisses. From Kavork Inc. Spam. Tired of life? Hello, friend. Has life become too impersonal, too tedious, too painful for you? Then now is the time to exert control to make that decision which is ultimately the only real choice we ever have. The decision to die. Some may describe this as an act of selfishness, but with the dwindling reserves of natural resources throughout the world, you're actually contributing to the well-being of all those around you. A recent bill passed by the United States Congress even authorizes a one-time payment of 10,000 credits to your chosen benefactor upon passing away. So do yourself, your family, and your friends a favor and visit any one of the Kavork Inc. clinics in the neighborhood near you. We'll help you make a difference, quickly and quietly. Sincerely, Derek Schmidt, Director of Development, Kavork Inc. From J. Reyes, subject, settled in yet? Hey Travis, thought I'd help you unload your boxes, but I'm tied down trying to get one of the medical analyzers working. Damn thing nearly lasered off one of my fingers. Catch you later for a beer, maybe? Hi me. From Network Administrator, subject message undeliverable, to Juan slash slash nycnet.7786.786658, subject your results sent Wednesday 14-18-59-0600, did not reach the following recipients, Juan slash slash hk2net.7786.786658 on Wednesday 14-26-35-0600, Unable to deliver message due to a communications failure. MPSEXCH colon IMS colon New York net colon Boronti PE colon ADA zero parenthesis zero 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 C zero five A six close parenthesis unknown recipient. Message as follows. I'm definitely worried about the test results. There are some implications there that I'm afraid to pursue too much further. I'll talk to Tracer. Proceed with caution. P. From Classic Movies. Subject, Account Verification. Mr. Denton, we've received your order for Blue Harvest and see you next Wednesday. At your earliest possible convenience, please remit 110 credits, at which point they will be shipped immediately. Thanks for your business, Marcy Playground, Vibrant Videos, Inc. So there's that. And we're done inside Trying the... Trying to catch my breath. We're now done inside the Ton. Let's just talk to Gilbert Renton again on our way out. I think that's all of them. You got the guys upstairs? Yeah, you can have your hotel back. The hotel! Good! Now we just have to kick these punks out of Manhattan. My brother Paul's heading up the operation. The NSF won't have New York for long. Sandra's pretty headstrong sometimes. I offered her a job at the desk. You can imagine what she said to that. If the economy hadn't bottomed out, she might have got along all right. But at 18, she just doesn't stand much of a chance. If you see her... Well, never mind. I just hope she's all right. Thanks for looking out for her. Sandra's pretty headstrong sometimes. All right, that's it. Let's roll back out now. Now, if you'll excuse me for just a minute, I'm gonna refresh my real save, first of all. With all that accomplished, and I need to take a little break. And we're back, sorry about that. I think the next place I want to head is the free clinic. <clears throat> Roll in here. Let's talk to everyone we find. I, uh, I heard a lot of shooting outside. They told me to come in here. All these people, they're sick. They got the plague, don't they? 
I'm staying as far away as I can. I don't want to get sick. I think the cops forgot about us. I think the cops forgot about us. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I was there when the NSF overran Squalnomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. Were you at Squalnomi? Yeah, it was night. They came in with their mop to camel and we never picked them up on any of the sensors. What a goddamn mess. I didn't know. Had a hard time sleeping after that. Didn't do real good on the psych evals either. Got drummed out in short order. The army probably didn't want to have any reminders hanging around. Yeah, and now look what they got. NSF in downtown Manhattan. Same guys that nearly whooped us in the Northwest. Bet the brass remembers Squall know me now. Sorry, I ain't got nothing for you. What? Just call me when the shooting's over. Check with one of the docs, okay? Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? Yeah, what about him? It won't help. There is no cure. How do you know? They show you stuff in the military. You want to know the real battlefield? It's microscopic. We can't even see it. Lucky for me, I got immunizations, but that guy? Well, once you're infected, you're infected. And what about me? I don't know. You got lucky. Not a bad thing to be. Check with one of the docs, okay? Hey there. I'm Raphael. This here's Jake. Hey. Sorry? You wanted something? Look, I don't know any more than you do, friend. Look, I don't know any more than you do, friend. Let's move on. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Please proceed to the examining room. We accept all forms of digital cash. Please have your card ready. I'm not permitted to give medical advice myself. Be prepared to give a description of your problem in three sentences or less. You will have to consult one of the doctors. As you can see, we're very busy. Take a seat and be patient. As you can see, we're very busy. Take a seat and be patient. Alright, let's hack this computer. Read some email like usual. From Jay Allred, subject apologies. Alice, sorry about the way things have been lately. <clears throat> I've been through tough times before and they come on like storms. When you're in the middle of one, you don't think the sunlight will ever break through again. Be prepared to give a description of your problem in three sentences or less. Let's go talk to someone else. Well, no, I don't want to interrupt the flow. I think raising computer past train might be my lowest priority, because you can do everything, it's just inconvenient. There were some stretches in Texas when the fighting got so bad that it seemed like there was nothing but wounded people wherever I went. That was all I saw, just wounds to be bandaged. This is a hard stretch, but we'll pull through alright and we'll help a lot of people who wouldn't be helped otherwise. I've got a lot of faith in you and the rest of the staff. We'll make do, all red. Now let's talk to these people. Not now. Please, leave me alone. Wait your turn. They said they'd call my name. The medbots could give me a shot in two seconds, but the doctors keep them locked up. Someone's getting rich off the Grey Death, that's for sure. The medbots could give me a sh It's all ice cream and lollipops. That's what the nice man on TV said. When the weather changes, <laughs> we'll be lost. And no one will know who anyone else is anymore. Like the pricking of my... My finger. Something wicked. Something wicked is about to be known. Not me. No, I didn't have anything to do with it. 
It's all ice cream and lollipops. If you think you have gray death, please pick up an information packet. Plague victims can have their medication mailed to their homes at no additional cost. See one of the doctors to purchase treatment. We encourage everyone to consider the automated care plan. Medbots are available 24 hours. Please understand that the free clinic must charge for certain services to cover basic expenses. We are doing everything we can regarding the epidemic. We encourage everyone to consider the automated care plan. Medbots are available 24 hours. Hi, I'm in charge of law enforcement on this block. You doing all right? Yeah. They told me to come in here. Is that okay? Perfectly fine. Just making sure everyone's safe. Hey, while you're at it, you ought to do something about the NSF. Perfectly good shelter. You know what they're doing in this neighborhood? Kicked us out of the old Osgood place. A bunch of us camping in the tunnels. Talk about rights, but when they want something, they take it. Maybe I'll look into it. You take care of yourself. That completed our uh, goal to find the... <clears throat> learn the location of the generator. NSF operating in the Osgood place. I'm not the only one they threw out. I think they're some kind of freedom fighters. Justice will be served. Ah, I filed a formal complaint, but the city ignored it. Justice will be served. Nothing in this bathroom. Nothing in this bathroom. Some more people to talk to out here. Nothing in this little terrarium. Whatever you call it. Got a few credits? You have the plague? Nah. Cops ran us off the streets. Usually I go into the water tunnels in the warehouse district, but somebody boarded up the window. You live in a tunnel? Actually, I like to stay on the roof of this big apartment building. Nice view, if it's not too cold. There's a freight elevator at the end of the tunnel. Where's that window you were talking about? It's a basement window in the park south of the hotel. One of the doctors can help you. Got a note that says, Water tunnels lead to warehouse district. A freight elevator goes to the roof of a large building. One thing about the warehouse district. You've got to know which buildings are safe. Some have armed guards. I kind of like it better in here. Doctors don't seem to mind. If the cops declare martial law, maybe we can stay. If the cops declare martial law, Maybe. You must pay the doctors in cash before treatment can begin. Plague tests are free. Please do not disturb the other patients. I have other patients to attend to. One of the doctors can help you. I have other patients to attend to. Let's talk to this bum. Who will help the widow's son? Excuse me? Oh. Sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. The NSF are playing right into our hands. I don't hear much about it, but I know the signs. There's gonna be an announcement soon. We just have to give DC a little push. I like to keep people guessing. I always beat around the bush. No way I would break the oath. We just have to give DC a little push. Let's talk to this doctor. You look like the do-it-yourself type. How about the automated care plan? Only 2,000 credits. Med kits are 300, but if you want augmentation work, you need the bots. Don't buy from him, I'll show you why. Never mind. As you wish. <clears throat> if you head that... If you know the code, you can just cheat and go to the med bots, but... I, like I said, I think that's cheating, so let's head through here, listen to these two, and then we'll bust in on the conversation. I want satisfaction. We've done all that we can. It's time for you to go. This is supposed to be a free clinic. Bet you'd do something if I had more money. You've got the plague, sir. You know, rich people don't get great death. Don't make me call security. Like Mr. Billionaire Bob Page. He don't have it. The president don't have it i never seen a movie star who's got it. You don't have it. Now we need to jump in. Wait your turn. 
Uh, use the top uh, top one. You should be more appreciative. You should be more appreciative. By helping you, this gentleman risks his own health. But he won't give me any medicine. Trust me. When there's a cure, the city will underwrite the cost. The virus threatens everyone. I don't believe you. And I won't hesitate to prescribe the treatment for you. You better not. <sighs> they say the plague came from monkeys. But that's not true. It was the army. It was the scientists. You don't see scientists getting sick. Rich people like Bob Page who own all the technology. They don't get sick. It was the scientists. You don't see scientists getting sick. Let's go over here. Make sure none of these people have anything on them. Talk to this guy. Vectors. The vectors are all wrong. I was in the biochem department at the college. I know what I'm talking about. It's not a class disease. Not just poor people. It's hygiene. That's where it starts. I don't think it's contagious at all. I think terrorists put gray death in the water. It's not a class disease. Let's read over not here just now. Poor people. It's hygiene. That's where it starts. Grave times. Drown the ceremony of innocence. Party in the blood-dimmed tide. Lose all conviction. Featuring Oblivion, Pretty and Twisted, Tiger Tiger, DJ VLIW, The Gibson Cowboys, and Brewer's Phrase. March 17th, 100 credits. Location slash slash undernet.245.91.003. No guns, no knives, no morals, no thing, no wear, no cops. Yes, Zyme, yes, sex, yes, dance, yes, today. Everything is permitted, nothing is free. Let's hack this computer now. From J. Allred, subject, weekly report, saved. Thomas, another week, another report. The triage situation here is getting tight. So many people with the Grey Death and we simply can't help them. At best, we give them fluids and attempt to keep them hydrated until they crash out. Just a med kit in there, definitely not worth it. Unless we can break it open, but we can! Excellent. Let's grab a couple med kits then. That's just taking up space we could use for someone treatable. A lot of them have nowhere to go, no social support, and they're creating problems in the clinic. Security is virtually non-existent, and a few times I've had to trank someone and drag them back out onto the street. Let's keep waiting so we can finish reading that email. Secondary diseases on the rise. Lots of tetanus, gangrene, resistant infections, advanced flu, that sort of thing. I've attached a detailed spreadsheet with a breakdown and supply rack. That's another thing. We missed last week's supply shipment and we're getting low on... Christ, I think they're shooting outside. got to go. Do what you can and let me know what to expect. All red. From a priest. Re-apologies. This is a hard stretch, but we'll pull through all right and we'll help a lot of people who wouldn't be helped otherwise. I've got a lot of faith in you and the rest of the staff. We'll make do.
that's a quote from the email we saw in the front room, and once my icebreaker recharges, we can hack in to actually read the reply. And we've got faith in you. There aren't really any apologies needed. None of us would be here if we didn't believe in what we're doing. Don't worry so much about us, and remember to take care of yourself, Alice. Lastly, let's talk to the guy we said, Doctor we rescued. Thank you. The ones with the plague can be so stubborn sometimes. Don't mention it. Let me express my gratitude. You can have the automated care plan for 1200 That's at a 40% discount. Or a med kit for 180 We'll take the automated care plan for 1200 for sure. I want the full program. The code to the surgery bay is 2153. The medical bots will handle your case from now on. Note received. Surgery bay code 2153. So, let's go visit the med bots. First, let's heal all my damage. Now let's install the augmentation canister I've been carrying around. Aqualung, occupy slot torso. Soda lime exostructures embedded in the alveoli of the lungs convert CO2 to O2, extending the time an agent can remain underwater. Tech 1, lung capacity is extended slightly. Tech 2, lung capacity is extended moderately. Tech 3, lung capacity is extended significantly. Tech 4, an agent can stay underwater indefinitely. Energy rate 10 units per minute. Current level 1 can upgrade. <laughs> and environmental resistance. Occupy slot torso. Induced keratin production strengthens all epithelial tissues and reduces the agent's vulnerability to radiation and other toxins. Tech 1, toxic resistance is increased slightly. Tech 2, toxic resistance is increased moderately. Tech 3, toxic resistance is increased significantly. Tech 4, an agent is nearly invulnerable to damage from toxins. Energy rate, 20 units per minute. Current level 1 can upgrade. Let's install environmental resistance. We can achieve both of these functions with equipment, a uh, hazmat suit or a rebreather, but rebreathers last longer and uh, are a lot easier to find and use than hazmat suits, so I think that environmental resistance is a better choice for that augmentation slot, but it's another one that we won't be bothering to upgrade. We'll continue hanging on to that augmentation canister for now. And let's roll out of here. I wish to hell they'd give us the all clear. You making a play today? Nah, scavenge some copper wiring. Wanted to get back and try it out in the sculpture. Christ, you and the sculptures. What's this one called? The Man Who Was Thursday. Makes as much sense as the last one. What was it called? Napoleon something or other? Napoleon of Notting Hill. Doesn't seem much use for sculpture today. There's always tomorrow. Okay, let's roll out. Next, I'm gonna tackle the Underworld Tavern, but I'll clear the rest of the streets first. Let's go ahead and rescue Sandra. She's over here. What I'm telling you, girl? You said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo and it's something he wants, you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you how it don't play with me, this amateur, unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, it's business. I want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out is like a gang. You get beat out. What do you want? You've got 10 seconds to beat it, is the one you want to choose. You've got 10 seconds to beat it before I add you to the list of NSF casualties. Easy, bro. Just having us a conversation. Five seconds. Girl's got a head full of marbles. I have to get. But she don't hear me. Three. She skitches on me. 
It's my ass, man. One. All right. Go on. Jesus. Yeah, I think he just runs off and disappears. He certainly won't talk to us. I do wonder where he disappears, though. Well, now he's hostile. But I think he disappears. Anyway, let's talk to Sandra now. Thanks! Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into Smuggler's. Smuggler? Hey, you shouldn't have threatened Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out... Your father asked me to look for you. He'd like you to come home. My dad shouldn't have hired a hitman. Stupid way to get himself killed. Who's this Jojo? You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse? You think he can sneak into Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser tripwires, drone guns, military-type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You get home so your father won't have to worry. I can take care of myself. So we got another note. Two ways to Jojo's warehouse, both ways through Osgood. One, underground, protected by automated security, and two, across the rooftops, protected by human guards. You mentioned a smuggler. Tough guy like you? Figured you'd be a big customer. What's he sell? Weapons? Drugs? High-priced weapons, yeah. You should talk to him. His place is over near the subway. You have to give him the password bloodshot or he won't let you in. Another note. Smuggler lives near the subway entrance. Password bloodshot. Thanks already. Now leave me alone. Thanks already. Now leave me alone. So with that done... Yeah, Johnny disappeared. There's pistol ammo there if you want it. Let's talk to these cops. Talk to one of the guys in green. You natko's running the show today. We've been asked to direct pedestrians to the underworld bar. You'll be safe there. About time these thugs came out in the open. Now, this is a job for military units, not city police. Stay clear of the fighting. About time these thugs came out in the open. We've been asked to direct pedestrians to the underworld bar. You'll be safe. And uh, you'll notice we've completed a circle that's brought us back to the subway. There's still more exploring to do. Over here are some corpses. One with a bioelectric cell. The other with a candy bar, which I don't actually want to carry, so I'll drop it. Uh, over in the basketball court, I don't want to go there quite yet. Let's handle the... And down these steps is the main entrance to Smugglers, where we can give the password. But let's do the Underworld Tavern next. Another big safe area. with lots of reading and lots of people to talk to. I think all the public access terminals are still the same. Yes. And we have two ATMs, so we can use the other uh, account and PIN we found, which is 543-654-5544. So 543-654-5544. Access denied. Okay, I guess we'll try it on the other ATM. We might have had to do it inside the Taunt, since that's where we found it. It was stupid of me to hack that in advance. Let's try it here. 543-654-5544. Access denied. Okay, we'll just hack it then. One oh three in that one. Now let's move in here. New item. Haven't had one of those in a while. Liquor. The label is torn off, but it looks like some of the good stuff. Now let's talk to this woman. It's still going on, isn't it? They're shooting people right outside the bar. I don't know what to do. I gotta get home. This man came around. 
He sent everyone in here, but he never said what to do next. I wonder if it's safe yet. I wonder if it's safe yet. Alright, let's go over to these two. Buy Ambrosia from a drug dealer? We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know. If I gave it to her, and it was cut... Jojo's good for it. People know him. He'd be hanging from a streetlight if he was selling bad vaccine. Hey, Shay, kick card. Use a little vodka this time. I know. Guess I have to do something. Uh, excuse us, we're having a conversation. You would never forgive yourself if... I know, I know. It's to be expected. Ambrosia is a controlled substance. Most people don't even think it exists. To be pain and chits in a grimy alley somewhere. You ought to be thankful the dealers got their hands on it. A week from now, listen to me. I say this for your own good. Next week, it might be too late. I said leave us alone. Get lost. Get lost. Yes? Just curious, thought I heard you say Ambrosia. Just curious. I thought I heard you say Ambrosia. My wife has the plague. He already lost his daughter. Sorry to hear that. So do I trust some street punk called Jojo to get me pharmaceuticals? Trust him with my wife's life? I thought Ambrosia was an urban legend. Jojo probably just wants to sound like a player. I shouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know what to say. You just have to do what you think is right. Can I ask a question? Go right ahead. I'm looking around for a power generator, possibly hidden, large enough to power a building. You in real estate? I just need to find it. Oh, oh, oh of course. You know, I tied in power at a place a few blocks south. A warehouse. Strangest thing. They wanted to conceal these gas-driven generators on the second floor. Didn't give a hoot if their own people got asphyxiated. How do I get over there? No way through the blockades now. We went over some rooftops to get there. There was a lift. The code was 3316, I think. Thanks for the tip. Another note. The code to the rooftop lift is 3316. Dan's not talking to me I'm anymore. gonna do it. I'm glad. I hope she does better. Can't be any worse for her than morphine. Hey, it's Shay. One for the road. I also worked on their hydraulic system. If you ask me, I don't think one of those guys has seen a generator before in his life. You're a good man, Agent. Hey, what is this stuff? Heavy water? Here's my favorite financial instrument. It's true, you can taste an economy going sour. Hey, what is this stuff? Heavy water? I also worked on the- I think he should do it. His wife is very sick. Hi, my name is Meg. I think he should do it. All right, let's talk. What can I get you? You work here. You must know the area. Heard of an old warehouse with an illegal power generator? Not exactly, but if you're looking for a warehouse, you should probably start in the warehouse district. Where's that? A few blocks south. Not a bad walk, but the riot police have blocked the roads because of the NSF. I'd like to check it out. Well, you may be out of luck. Even though one of the old warehouses faces onto the park, I don't know how you get inside. Sounds like a good place to start. Something to drink. Everything in the bar, snacks too, just ten credits. I'm gonna... this might sound rude, but I'm gonna do the heavy augmentation. That's some heavy augmentation. Yeah. Thanks, Unetco. What's it to you? I'm in the business. Well, I was in an early program, okay? We can still polish a glass. Good luck with your business. Another note. One old warehouse faces onto the park to the south. What'll it be? So we can get a beer, a candy bar, or a soda. Never mind. Let's do nothing right now. Talk to Jock. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? You mean that guy's smuggler across the street? Already know him, huh? Too bad. Hey, how about I tell you about something you can't hear from anybody else? What's that? Area 51. You heard of it, right? Actually, I'd rather hear whether you know anything about a warehouse with an illicit generator. I worked out there. Most people think they got aliens from another planet, but I didn't see any flying saucers. You want to hear about it? I'll tell you. For the price of a beer. What do you have for me? I don't have any liquor on me. The bar's to my left. 
So we need to buy him a 40. Shoot. Beer, please. There you go. There's nothing. Oh, yeah, there is a med kit under the bar, which we can grab. Now we'll give Jock the 40. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. That one's warm. Get me something from the bartender. I did buy one from the bartender. Let's try again. It taps out. Only bottles. Beer, please. There you go. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. I appreciate it. Yep, I know for a fact it's not just for government research. I've seen all kinds of executives coming and going. I'm sure plenty of bureaucrats fly out there. Billionaires. Big executives. I think the whole place has been taken over by a private corporation. Not likely. Something's going on underground. I'm a pilot, which means I didn't get any access to the main complex. But a lot of rock comes out of there. It's some kind of mine. But what I don't understand is why they're always laying more fiber optic cables. A pilot? What do you fly? Copters. You know what I think? I think that's where the UN moved Echelon 4 back when they promised they were going to stop spying on people. Surveillance is a very distributed technology. To centralize it in one large facility would be very unusual, even for the UN. I bet they did it. They want to centralize everything. Every computer on the planet. Know anything that's worth the price of a beer? Nah, this old bird's had enough. Hell, I'm about to go on duty. What kind of chopper pilot starts work at midnight? You're with UNATCO, right? Why do you ask? I'm the one that flies your brother Paul to Hong Kong. He told me to watch out for you. I didn't know UNATCO hired pilots. The black choppers are run by the NSA to support various classified operations. The Pentagon uses them, the CIA. They hired me because I don't ask any questions. What was Paul's assignment in Hong Kong? Like I said, I know how to keep a secret. Even between brothers. So he's holding something back. The reason UNATCO transferred him back to the States. Listen to your brother, JC. Respect his experience. Let's leave it at that. Your brother's one of the bravest men I know. I sure hope Paul knows what he's doing. Check out the girl in the leather top. One thing the Air Force never understood. I'm dependable. No matter what, I'm dependable. Check out the girl in the leather top. All right, move to the next room. No goodies around, but we can talk to this guy. Well, the sweater woman's wandering a long way. Let's talk to Sandra first. This is you where she is. Let your father know you're all right. He knows where I am. You mad at him or something? No, but I don't want him running my life like he runs that cheap hotel. He doesn't do such a bad job. He never got nowhere because he never took chances. That ain't me. I'm gonna do things my way. I think you should be more grateful for what he's done. Let's leave it at that. Mind your own business. I don't need you or anybody telling me what to do. Somebody should take a wrecking ball to that scummy hotel. Somebody should take a wrecking ball to that scummy hotel. Now let's talk to this gal. You the guy that helped Sandra? I think your friend is gonna be all right. What about Johnny? I gave him a good scare. Where's he at? I don't know, but if he gives you any more trouble, just tell me. I hope he doesn't think I ratted him out. What can you tell me about his boss, Jojo? Oh, Jojo, he's nothing, man. We used to go out. His body mods? Cosmetic. Scars? <laughs> I saw him cut his face one time just so he'd look mean. Maybe I'll straighten him out as well. Well, if you ever want to get into the warehouse where he hides out, I know the code. It's 3316. Thanks. You've been very helpful. Another note. Warehouse code 3316. Jojo shouldn't stick us with guys like Johnny. That ain't cool. Sandra looks a little shaken up. I hope she's all right. I don't know why Sandra doesn't just stay with her dad. He's okay. At least she's got somebody. Sandra looks a little shaken up. I hope she's now all right. Now let's talk to this guy. Joe Green. Midnight Sun. Glad to know you. What can you tell me about what's going on out there? 
Sorry, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Regulations, huh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? You must be from UNATCO. I really can't be bothered right now. How about I ask you a few questions? Splendid! I certainly would like to know what an international anti-terrorist organization expects to find in a dive like this. On second thought, I don't need your help. <laughs> On second thought, I don't need your help. Then let me ask you a question. What do you think about the summary executions happening on the very streets of New York? I'd call it civil unrest. Let me be more pointed. How does it feel to be ordered to murder civilians just because they support the fastest growing political movement in this nation's history? In a democracy, armed rebellion is criminal, not political. Rebellion, as the Declaration of Independence tells us, is not only our right, but our duty when we have suffered a long train of abuses and usurpations. This is gonna make a great story. Keep me updated. Don't worry. I'll say sources within UNATCO if I hold you. Keep me updated. Alright. I don't think there's anything back here. If you really want to spend some credits on cigarettes, you can. Pretty sure there's